All right, everybody, we're out here at Pretty Boy Reservoir today. And we're gonna take a trip out on the kayak. It's a little windier than I was expecting it to be, so I've decided we're not gonna worry about fishing today. We're just gonna go out and have a look around. The trees are starting to change, so we should be able to find some pretty uh, attractive foliage while we're out. But my real goal for being out here today is we are going to give my new NRS Velocity Shoes a test. I bought these for a very specific reason and today is going to be my day trying them out and seeing if they do what I want them to do. Uh, we are of course also wearing my sealskin socks which I absolutely love and keep my feet bone dry. So I'm probably not going to talk too much about the shoes today. That's not really uh, the topic of this video. Once I've actually had them out here and tried them out, uh, we'll do some video about that later. Today we're just going to paddle around and just see what we can see. It's just a pretty day. Again, it's a little breezier than I was hoping for, um, but we'll see. I'm just going to get out here and paddle around and we should be able to see some beautiful trees. Uh, the sky might clear up a little. It's hard to say what we'll find while we're out here today. I did just talk to a guy going out in his boat and he told me where the eagle's nest is. I know we've got a mated pair, a breeding pair of bald eagles out here. I see them every year and in the spring you can see them with their young. I've never known where they nested though. So he told me where that is. It's probably a little further than I feel like going today. But now that I've got a pretty good idea of where to look for it, uh, I think I should be able to find it. Uh, if you've ever seen an eagle's nest, they're pretty big. They're pretty hard to miss. And he said it's at the top of an old scraggly pine tree. You can't miss it as long as you get into the right uh, cove. So I'm not exactly sure what cove he was talking about, but I got a good idea of where it is. So someday uh, before the season's over, hopefully we can get out far enough to go check out that eagle's nest, but probably not today. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep on hitting it. We're gonna head on down around the bend here and see if there's not anything good to look at. Now I've brought you back into this cove before. This is the cove with the giant wasp nest. In fact, we're very close to that giant wasp nest now. We're gonna do a quick pass. Actually, I just saw a wasp fly by now. I'm just gonna keep right on moving and go on pass and we're not gonna bother anybody. If you can't see it already, that giant bright thing right there is an enormous wasp nest. It's probably about 18 inches tall and maybe 13 or 14 inches wide. But I can already see some really beautiful trees down here. So we're going to come down here and have a look. That tree looks like it's already lost all of its leaves unless something's wrong with it and it's already died off or something. There's a rope hanging from it so apparently somebody comes down here and uses this as a swimming hole. I wonder if they know about that wasp nest. <laughs> I love that tree there. Just saw a, what is that, a red-tailed hawk? Not sure what it is. Some large bird just flew out of there. Definitely was not the eagle. Probably a red-tailed hawk. They're really common around here. At any rate, I think we're just gonna 
make our way back up this side. There's not a lot to see back here. I know that really deep red one's a dogwood. Uh, I'm not sure what these others are. Sure are beautiful though. So we're just about down to the end of the cove with the boat launch in it. And then once we get out here, we'll be in the main channel. And at this point, I'm still undecided whether I want to go across, uh, head that way and go downstream or make a right once we get out around this bend and go upstream so it's all probably going to depend on the wind once we get out of here i was out in the middle of the channel a few minutes ago and uh, it's quite breezy out there it wasn't a whole lot of fun so that's why we're tucked over here close to shore uh, so we'll see we'll see where we end up of sticks right here is actually a beaver lodge and I don't hear any activity or see anybody around so maybe nobody's home at the moment it is a little late in the season so I doubt they've got any young last time I came past it there was a beaver I scared and he went swimming down under the water uh, right alongside the kayak it was pretty cool I actually got it on video too so that was a lot of fun all right we're coming around the bend down into the main channel now you can already see the waves are picking up. I guess we'll head on upstream, stay close to shore on this side. It's interesting enough to look at and we can probably tuck in under these trees a little bit and stay out of the wind to some degree. Well, as attractive as this is, we've still got the wind steady pushing us up against shore. So, believe it or not, my best bet's going to actually be to cut across here and get up in the lee of these trees over here. And that'll get us out of the wind a little bit. So, now we're going to paddle across the open water. on this side I kind of wish I brought my fishing rod this cove back here is always good fishing well I just heard a deer go crashing off through the woods I didn't see it though so I'm just gonna paddle around back here you can see how nice and calm the water is this is what I enjoy just coming out here and drifting along looking at the scenery I can usually listen to the birds while I'm out here but there's not much bird song today it's pretty quiet I'm not sure why so all right I'm gonna get on with it I got a lot of difficult relaxing to do so I'll see you guys in a little bit we'll get down into another cove or somewhere around the bend and we'll look at something else
Well, before we leave this cove and head somewhere else, I definitely want to drift back into this back corner. There's a little stream over here that feeds into it. And there's usually some pretty interesting stuff on the bottom, some rocky formations. There's a chance we could see some wildlife over here. And I just think it's pretty scenery all the way around. So you gotta be kind of careful where you paddle here. There's fallen logs and all sorts of stuff. Water's a little murky today. There's some of the rock formations you get to see. So this is good smallmouth fishing down here. It's nice and cold because you've got this little stream flowing into it. And you've got all those rocky structures and logs and places to hide. So this is usually a pretty good spot to come when you're fishing for the smallies. So I'm going to stop here because I can't really go any further than that anyway. You can see the water level's low. Uh, these trees with their roots all knurled and flat like that, that's the normal water line at peak level. So we are at the end of the season, so the reservoir is a little lower than it normally would be. But not by much, considering we're at the end of the season, it's only down by about a foot. That's not too bad at all. Alright, I'm hung up on something, so I'm going to have to back up here. I'm not even sure what I'm stuck on. I was stuck on that. I told you, you got to watch where you paddle back here. So I'm just going to continue pedaling around. We're going to head on out of this cove and probably go down uh, the main channel. There's a couple more coves down there. Uh, there's little places like this everywhere out here. You can just tuck out of the wind, tuck out of the sun. Uh, shortly here, we'll probably be getting out of the boat. I don't know if you saw them, but there were several nice sized bass swimming by. Once again, making me wish I'd brought my fishing rods with me. Uh, but here in a little while, we'll probably get out of the kayak and stretch my legs and walk around a little bit. Maybe we'll have a look at some scenery uh, on shore. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really have any specific goals for being out here. I'm just kind of out here and enjoying myself. So sit back, relax, and see where we end up next. destination we're actually on the wrong side of the cove I just came over here because it looked really pretty we're actually heading all the way back into that corner over there and then we're gonna get out and we're gonna have a little look around Time to stretch my legs. Now it looks like the weather is getting ready to turn. So I don't know how much longer we're going to be out here. Hopefully these are just going to be some passing clouds. But we'll see how that goes. So the real reason I came down here, this is what I want to test my velocity shoes on this is sort of a pinch point of land if we go about 50 maybe 75 yards through this underbrush we will be back on the reservoir again in a different cove uh, that has a little island in it it's a pretty neat cove 
and it's easy enough to get to by you know just staying on the water and paddling down the main channel but just for curiosity's sake I wanted to see what it would be like to portage my kayak through here and these velocity shoes are made to do just that uh, they're made to go in and out of the water they're made to be rugged good ankle support and if you do get out and you need to portage and you need to walk on um, terrain like this you've got good footwear to do it my problem was always that I came out here with my little water shoes on which were fine for getting in the kayak but if I wanted to get out and walk around and stretch my legs even though I don't have to portage my kayak anywhere I can't really walk around in this kind of terrain with those little water shoes on and so far these NRS velocity shoes are proving to be fantastic so again this is not going to be the video where I really review these my seal skin socks as always are awesome because they keep my feet completely dry and warm so I'm basically standing out here with dry warm feet with the equivalent of hiking boots on and yet this is how I got back here and I'm still bone dry and I've got nice warm feet and comfortable footwear so I'm gonna stretch my legs and walk around for a little bit and then we're gonna probably start making our way back and as always we'll stop and look at all the pretty trees as we go by and then we'll make our way back up to the boat launch so real soon look forward to a video specifically talking about these shoes and i'm going to put them to the test and we're actually going to talk about how they performed and what they did and everything else in the meantime i'm going to keep on relaxing and i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit it's hard to believe that tree is still alive but it is all this green is from that fallen tree So we're making our way back to the boat launch the sky is clearing up a little bit but I'm still at least going to head back in that general direction and we've got uh, ways to go we're still on the other side of the main channel so we're still going to make our way back across and then head up to the next cove over and head back down that way so we got a little bit of paddling to go hopefully we'll see some more pretty scenery before we get out of here So here we go heading across the main body we're gonna head on over to the other side there actually we need to head that away so we're gonna cut across here at a sort of oblique angle like this and make our way back up so I'll see you on the other side Right, I deliberately came across a little downstream of where we needed to be. There was a couple of really beautiful trees sitting right here on the corner, so I thought I would do a quick little pass by of these. Now that the sun's come back out and it's looking pretty again. So this is where I was uh, not long ago. I was shooting some video where I parked the kayak and I got down and I walked along the uh, shoreline and was ducking underneath some trees and stuff. These trees right here, the trees I was ducking underneath as I was walking along, we had parked the uh, kayak right here around the corner and got out and this is where I was walking around. So we're not gonna stop here today. We already stopped over on the other side of the water, uh, but all we gotta do is go around the bend here and we will be back in the cove where the boat launch is from there it's just a short paddle up to the boat launch There's one of those uh, square property marker stones. I wonder what that's all about and where that's from. I ought to get out one of these days and take a picture of that. I'm sure it's got numbers or some sort of designation on it to mark where it uh, 
what property it designates. Remember, this whole valley used to be private property years and years and years, decades ago. And they bought all the land, they being the city of Baltimore. Uh, they bought all the land up. They dammed up the valley. And the Gunpowder River then filled the valley. So you can often find old abandoned buildings and stone foundations of buildings. You can find old roadways uh, that are back in the woods or even, you know, sometimes when the water is nice and shallow, you can actually see some uh, remnants of old structures and stuff underneath the water. So a lot of history around here is pretty neat. So I'm sure somewhere in some records, there's a record of what that uh, stone over there designates. I have no idea what it is and I never will, but... I'm sure it's somewhere. It's got to be written down on something. So we're just going to duck over here real quick and have a look at these trees because these are awfully good looking with the sun shining on them. And as I said, now that the weather's changed and those heavy clouds moved on past, I'm not really in any hurry to get back to the boat launch anyway. So we're just going to meander on up the shoreline here. Uh, and again, look at anything pretty. So there's the boat launch. I can even see my truck sitting over there. So we're pretty much wrapping it up. I always love every year there's a couple of really, really vibrant red trees that are just to the left of the boat launch there. So we'll see them a little bit closer as we're pulling into the boat launch and then I'll go ahead and call that a video. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you real soon on the next trip out.